Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So yeah, now we have Piplup, we have the Pokedex, and what I would like to do right now is try to get um, some Pokeballs and start catching birds for me. I want uh, I want to have a Starly. Okay, okay, Django. I lacked as your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Okay. Yeah, the Pokemon Center. I know all this stuff, Don. I already know it. You think you're so cool because you're explaining... <laughs> Why am I being mean all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, the Pokemon Center, the, the shop... I, I guess here I can buy the Pokeballs now? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. But before you go, heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Yeah, thank you for letting me know all the stuff that I already knew. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so mean. I mean, she's lovely. I shouldn't be mean to her. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm here to buy, sure. So I'm gonna get... Uh, I don't need that many, I would imagine, because I'm not gonna be catching that many Pokémon. I might miss one or two Pokéballs, of course, so I'm gonna grab ten. But I think that's gonna be pretty much all that I will need on, on this playthrough, ideally. Uh, potions... yeah, let's grab five of these, I guess. Maybe two antidotes... No, I meant to, please. There we go. Maybe... Paralyzed heals as well. These things are gonna be essential. Like, I need to... I need to use... I need to get as many help... As, as much help as I can get from... You know, from items that I can buy, from gifts that I can get from people. I need as much help as I can get. Because this is gonna be... It's gonna be challenging. Uh, it's kinda funny, I said that I wanted an easier game to play after Metroid, but I guess I reconsidered. I guess the challenge makes things a little more interesting, right? That's the point. I mean, watching a vanilla Pokémon playthrough, I mean, could be fun, but uh, I would assume that playing a, some sort of Nuzlocke or Birdlock or whatever is gonna be even more fun, I think. Okay, we are working underground now. Yeah, in this game there's this underground section where you can get a lot of Pokémon. I don't know if there are bird Pokémon in there, but I will I will check uh, later on. For now... For now I would just be happy if I can get a Starly. And I think I will get it pretty soon, because uh, I really need to go back to tell my mom that I'm going on an adventure. I will speak with everybody first though. I wanna see if somebody's gonna get, give me any sort of gift. Cause that could be, that could be useful. Um, okay, nothing so far. Nothing so far. What about here? What is this place? Oh, you're Django. Hey, you're doing that Pokédex thingy for the professor. That's the same as my big sister. Go for it. Ah, okay. So this is uh, Dawn's family. Okay. Can I peek at her room? Can I peek at her computer? <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this stuff. Don't do this, kids. At home. Don't peek on other people's rooms without their consent. Don't do that. It's wrong. So I don't forget what's happened till now. I'd better save this. There, now I can take a break. Oh wow, Pokémon are so cool, I wish I had some. You can help yours get stronger by having them battle. Okay, um... I don't have a map yet, right? I will get it later, I suppose, but for now... I guess I will just go back and see my mom. Tell her that I love her and that... I'm going on an adventure. Okay, let's see. Hmm, where do I live now? I live here. <laughs> it's a pretty important thing to forget where you live. 
Welcome home, Django. Are you and your Pokémon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Cool. What's up, Django? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Django. I've got something that you'll find useful. The guidebook. Uh, you put the guidebook in your back ski pocket. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokémon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Django. I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokémon you've got, dear. Okay, so the guidebook. Uh, useful information for your adventure will be added to this guidebook. You can check it in your back in your bags key items pocket. Excuse me, is my little Ognach here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. Oh, like Bilbo. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Django will deliver that to him. Won't you, Django? Oh really? You'd do that for me? Django, please take this to Ognach for me. You obtained the parcel. You put the parcel in your bag's key item pocket, uh, whatever. Bye bye Django, enjoy your adventure, let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, okay, please. I don't know what to Ognach. <laughs> oh Django, you're forgetting something important. Yeah, sometimes I should pay attention to what they're saying. Might be important. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Django. Now off you go. Okay, so we are officially on an adventure. Um, yeah. Also the Nuzlocke, well, the Birdlocke officially starts now, I suppose, now that we have the Pokeballs. It started a little earlier than that, but... Because uh, we got the Pokeballs earlier, but... Okay. So... Let's get a Starly... Well, actually... You know what? I think at some point I'm gonna need a Bidoof. Because here's the thing. I don't think that all my Pokémon... Like the Pokémon that I'm gonna have can learn all the moves that I'm gonna need to make progress in the game. So I might need a Bidoof. Um, just for making progress in the game. Like, not for using it. Just for making progress. You know what I mean? Like, I will, I will not use Bidoof on battle, but um, but I will most definitely use it uh, for, you know, cat, uh, surf, uh, strength, that sort of thing. So, I think I'm gonna have to catch this Bidoof, because I, I seriously doubt that the Pokémon I'm gonna have... I seriously doubt that uh, I will be able to teach all the moves to all of them, so... I think I'm gonna catch this Bidoof, although, for the record, what I'm gonna do is just box it right away. I'm not gonna use it in, in, any, fa in any fight or any kind. I'm just gonna box it away and take it out only when, when absolutely necessary to make progress. But other than that, yeah, I'm not gonna be using this dear friend. I'm not even gonna nickname it because, again, it's like, uh, it's just... <laughs> It's just a utility, this Bidoof, let's say. It's an object that I need. <laughs> that sounds a little harsh. Sounds too harsh, but... Uh... But it's true. Like, uh, I'm playing a Birdlock, so I'm not gonna need this Bidoof at all. Um, Let's see if I can get a Starly, though. Really? Another Bidoof? Okay, let's just... Um... Let's just run away. No need to deal with this guy. I mean, I got uh, a lot of Starlies before. There should be another one here. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't take that long to find one. Okay, there it is. Now this guy, definitely we want to catch it. And have it as a full-time member of the party. So that's what we're gonna do. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. 
Like the Pokemon, this Pokemon is very weak, it's just level 3. Um, let's just hope, okay, I shouldn't get... Um, well, now that, now that the Starly used Growl, even if I get a crit, I don't think I'm gonna kill it. But hopefully, okay, yeah, no crits, so that's great. Now let's use the Pokeball with X. And this should be it, right? There we go. All right, welcome to the party, Starly. Number one grew to level six, awesome. Number one learned water gun, that's great. Okay, so yeah, added to the Pokedex. Yes, I'm gonna nickname this Pokemon because we need to develop an emotional attachment to it by naming it. You know how this goes, right? So I'm gonna call this one number two. All right. Now we can make progress. We have two bird Pokemon. Obviously, I don't mean bird type Pokemon. Bird Pokemon. You, you know what I mean. You know the drill. Um, You've come to show me your progress on the Pokedex? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> So you've seen three Pokemon, look, look harder, don't be afraid of going into tall grass. Yeah, I, I guess uh, it's a little too soon to go see the professor, right? Okay, let's go to the Pokemon Center, let's heal. Yes, please. Alright, and um, we hope to see you again, cool. Now we're gonna box this Bidoof. Someone's PC. No, actually, wait a minute. Ah, yeah, no, no. My PC is for items and stuff, right? Professor Rowan's PC. Ah, no, this is... Okay, no, never mind. So, someone's PC. I don't know why it says someone's PC. It should be my PC, I guess. Uh, but my PC, I believe, is for items, actually. So, anyway. Bye, Bidoof. I will require your services later on, probably. But for now... You can rest in the in the box. Okay, time to go to Jubilife City. And I mean, where is Jubilife City? Okay, it's definitely not here because I, I can't surf just yet. Cool, so we need to go we need to go north, apparently. I mean also the the number of the route uh, kinda gives you a hint, right? Okay, there's Dawn. Oh, that's right. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> you don't have to. I already catched two Pokemon without your help. I mean, you're super nice and all, but... Um, you're teaching me stuff that I already know. But okay. I'm cool with it. Whatever. Okay, it's HP is down. Yeah, whatever. And now she's gonna... She's gonna throw the Pokeball. And spoiler alert, she's gonna catch the Bidoof. I mean, she needs the Bidoof, otherwise she cannot make progress in the game. Yeah, she's in the same situation as me. And there it is. Bidoof was caught. Nice job, Don. You did well. See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokémon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokémon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokémon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep, make them sleep or something by using a Pokémon's move. Okay, Django, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokéballs. Alright. Yeah, so I didn't even need to, to buy them actually, but okay, that's fine. Now we know for sure that we're not gonna run out of Pokeballs, uh, f like for sure. Although I might need Super Balls later on, I think. Okay, so battle we must. Sure thing. Also, by the way, in this game, the experience share is not active by default, I believe. 
So if I want to train my Starly, I'm going to have to take it out. That, take it out, I mean just bring it out to, to battle, is what I mean. Um, so I'm going to do just that because my Starly is level 3 and obviously I need to level it up. Yeah, I think the experience share you can get it later in the game, but uh, I don't have it by default, is, is what I mean. Okay, so I'm not gonna risk it, I'm gonna go back to Piplup. Because my style is very weak. Okay, cool. Um, now we can use Water Gun. Also for this playthrough, guys, I'm gonna try to keep... Uh, I'm gonna try to keep the videos as uncut as possible. Because, um, well, you know, if I cut the video, some of you, rightfully so, might be like, hey, how do I know this guy is not cheating, right? And I get it. Uh, uh, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a reasonable doubt to, to have. I mean, I can give you my word that I'm not gonna cheat, but if you don't believe me, uh, which, again, why would you? You don't know me, <laughs> right? Makes sense. Um, in order to make it as... Uh, obvious as possible that I'm not cheating, I'm gonna try to keep the, the videos as uncut as possible. Um, sometimes what, maybe what I can do is just speed up the video, like not cut it, but just speed it up. Like for example, well I mean in episode 1, right, you saw in episode 1 that I got lost for a second. So what I did there was just speeding up the video in order not to waste too much of your time. But uh, that way you know that, hey, I didn't really cut it off, I just continued playing. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Because, uh, yeah, like, I don't really wanna... Uh, I mean, I, I, I wanna make it obvious, like I said, that, uh, that I'm not cheating. Although, again, I'm giving you my word that I'm not gonna do it. But, uh, just in case, some of you may have doubts. I'm gonna try to do it this way. Alright, so... That being said, I think I'm gonna change the order of my Pokémon. I'm gonna put number two first. Because I need to level it up. I spy with my little eye a trainer. Alright. So let's... Let's fight. So what do you have? You have a Bidoof. Okay. Go, number two. You got this. Yeah, actually, I, I might do tackle, why not? I'm level 4, so I deal a decent amount of damage. Uh, do I risk it? No, if I get a crit, uh, if I get a crit, I, w <laughs> I will lose my, my Starly super early on in the game. I'm not gonna risk it. Because that's the thing, right? A regular tackle, it's fine. But if he crits, then I'm I'm screwed. So I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, there's there's no point in risking it uh, at all. So so let, let's play it safe. Okay, so very straightforward fight. <laughs> not much to comment. Not much to comment here. I heard somewhere that uh, the game, um, like uh, in the very last fights, like the Elite Four and Cynthia, like it gets crazy, uh, maybe not crazy difficult, but significantly more difficult than than the previous gym leaders, let's say, or something. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's true, could be true, could be entirely true, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, like, we should try to be on the conservative side, try to play it safe as much as possible, keep as many of my Pokémon as possible for the final fights, because uh, that's gonna be a tough one, uh, I can I can imagine. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, Cynthia is kind of famous for being one of the toughest uh, final bosses of Pokémon, if not the, f like, the toughest... Uh, the toughest champion? I think she's 
probably a toughest champion. So, yeah, we're up for a challenge uh, in the in the later stages of the game for sure. So just something to keep in mind, to be careful there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, a long way to go, so no reason to obsess uh, over that uh, just yet. Okay, we have a Starly here. We could probably take uh, take it down, right? Why not? Uh, we could uh, train our Starly a little bit, level it up. It's gonna be it's gonna be useful. All right, attack fell. Just another quick attack should uh, seal the deal. There we go. Let's keep on going. Alright, level 6. That's very nice. In the beginning I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to be switching... I'm gonna have to switch my Pokémon all the time, which is kind of annoying, but... Uh, but well, that is until I get the, the experience share, of course. Um, but yeah, in the meantime... I'm gonna have to do it that way, which is the old-fashioned way, I mean... I'm actually not used to having experience share, or I wasn't. I mean, I am now because um, I played the the newest games, right? The let's play, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, and also Sword and Shield. So these days I'm more used to having experience share by default. But back in the day, you know, Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 4, they didn't have the experience share by default. So... This is basically old school Pokemon here, pretty much. But uh, we'll get experience share. We'll get experience share uh, later on, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use it because, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very useful. I I can imagine. But for now, just you know. Uh, just uh, throw a Starly, throw a Starly into the battle, and then and then just switch to switch to Piplup, or rather switch uh, number two to number one. <laughs> I guess I should call them for for their nicknames, right? Okay, swap Pokemon. Swap Pokemon. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a piece of cake. It's good that we take out this uh, wild Pokémon though, because uh, again, we need to level up. We cannot, uh, especially in this challenge, I would say I think it's ex especially important that we over level our Pokémon a little bit, because uh, well, I don't have, I'm not gonna have many Pokémon with me. I'm gonna have. Six or seven total? Like, that's pretty much it. And if I lose one Pokemon, I pretty much don't have any replacement, so... It's gonna be very tough, so the, the, the way to counter that is to... Is to train my Pokemon as much as possible, I think. To overtrain them a little bit, to compensate. Because otherwise, I don't see this happening. Uh, I, I think it would be very, very difficult. Okay, so that's a Shinx. Yeah, this is... But you see, this is the time where... Things like this, uh, moments like this, the game is gonna be tricky. Because that's an Electric-type Pokémon. To which I'm weak at. Uh, I'm weak against. Because I have Flying and I have Water. So I'm weak to both of them. See? There you go. So this is gonna be it's gonna be tricky. Uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna heal, and I'm gonna use growl. I need to use growl for sure. I cannot be in this playthrough. One thing I know for sure is that I cannot be like super. I I cannot just go for the offensive all the time. I need to strategize a little bit more because if I don't, I'm gonna be in trouble for sure. I'm gonna be in big trouble, so... I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have to heal again. 
And I'm gonna use Growl again. Oh, wait a minute, does Growl work against Thundershock? Oh boy, and he uses Leer now. Oh, this is gonna be... I think Growl doesn't work with Thundershock. Because Growl work against physical attacks, right? But not the special attack, and Thundershock is a special attack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wasting my time with Growl. Growl doesn't work. Okay, so... Shinx is pretty much gonna kill me the moment he lands a Thundershock. Uh, I, I'm gonna risk it. Maybe I will survive with one or something. Okay, another Leer. I'm gonna switch. Now I'm gonna switch because... Yeah, definitely. If Shink uses Thundershock, for sure it's gonna kill me. For sure. So I'm gonna switch. Um, let's just hope that I get to kill this thing soon enough. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. As long as it's not a crit, it's not gonna kill me. Oh, nice, yes. Whew. <laughs> you see this, my friends? You see how tough this is gonna be? <laughs> this is gonna be quite the challenge. Quite the challenge. I mean, electrical type Pokemon are gonna be a big, a big problem for me. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center for sure. Um, like I'm thinking out of all the Pokemon that I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Piplup, Starly, well, I'm just gonna name the the first uh, the first uh, form Pokemon, not the full evolution because I don't know them all, but anyway, Piplup, Wingle, Starly, Psyduck, Markrow, uh, what else? There's one more that I don't remember right now, but I mean, all of those that I just mentioned are gonna be weak against electric type Pokemon. All of them, I believe. My only doubt is Markrow because I don't know for sure if it is flying or if it is dark or if it is both. I don't know that for sure, but... Uh, but all the other four, like Psyduck, Wingle, Starly, Piplup, they're all weak to electric. All of them. So, yeah, I'm gonna be in big trouble against electric type Pokemon. That's gonna be uh, an issue. But okay, that's uh, part of the challenge. That's part of the reason why I'm I'm doing this bird lock to to make this game a little more interesting. So, yeah, let's use let's use pound. All right. I should also let you know, guys, that I haven't done... I've never done a Nuzlocke in my life, so... I'm, I've never done a Nuzlocke and I'm, and I'm starting off with a Birdlock. I guess that's how crazy I am. I mean, nobody asked me to do this, but I'm like, uh, sure, why not? Birdlock sounds cool. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very, very, very interesting. I'm just gonna get away. I don't wanna deal with that thing at all. That's gonna be a big deal, so... Let's just, for let's just forget about uh, fighting Shinx. Okay, that's a wild Bidoof. Sure, that I can actually fight. I'm not scared of Bidoof. Especially if it is level 3. Okay, let's switch to number 1 for some experience boost. For all my Pokemon. Maybe two water guns will seal the deal. Yeah, one is just not enough. But that's okay. That's totally okay. Yeah, another water gun. Why not? And there you go. Okay, let's go to 
Okay, that's a trainer. Oh, there's a Pokeball there. Let's just grab it. I'm feeling confident. Let's fight this guy. Oh, he's not a trainer. Okay, cool. Okay, Jubilife, Jubilife City. There we go. Hi, Django. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jubilife City, there's the trainer's school, which, well, you know, Django, you should you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh yes, Ochnag went to the trainer's school earlier. Okay, bye now. Yeah, bye. Okay. Um, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next video.